It is an N9000 as you can see, but let's go to the size real quick. So I got a UK9 US 9.5, which is a full size down for me. You guys do know I like my uh, fit a little snug. So that's the first reason why. Second, Diodora tends to break and these are Italian made, the, uh, the handmade joints. So I, I think the number is like 300 or 500 is uh, all they do for those collabs when they're the handmade joints. But when they break, uh, they give you more room. Obviously any shoe that breaks is gonna give you more room. So I, I want to make sure that I mean, I'm gonna be wearing these and I have room later on for that, that break factor. But anyway, let's get into the shoe. Uh, you can see the box is yellow. Now I'm gonna try and get the theme correct on this. Giallo, Giallo, um, Italian horror movies that were based off of horror novels um, back, I don't know what year it was, but it was a long time ago. And the notebooks that they used were bound by spirals and the spirals were usually yellow, which the word Giallo translates into in Italian is yellow. So you got the yellow box. Uh, let me just pull the shoes out and then we'll get back into it. Tissue paper on the inside, you got extra butter times Diodora in the extra butter logo and then you got like the um like the dead body little body layout thing going on whatever. let's get this out of the way shoe is down shoe is down sorry for the lighting it's a little bit off uh extras off the bat obviously we got dust bag for the shoes extra butter deodora and 9000 we're gonna move that out of the way three sets of laces you got like the peach pink inside purple and black flats all the extras, nothing on the uh, agalets of the lace, but I'm gonna get into this review. First and foremost, super dope. Uh, in hand, amazing. Quality is on point. We'll go through all the details in a second, but I, I just wanna say that not a lot of people came to the camp out, which I was at this morning. I have some footage. I, I, I don't know if I threw it up already or if I'm gonna throw it up. I'll figure it out later on. But anyway, I, I feel like a lot of people are sleeping on this collaboration as a whole. It's a very well executed shoe, material is on point. Uh, the execution, even more so on point. Uh, the theme, very good as well. Extra butter, always movie themed. I, I, I just, I can't stress enough how well this shoe is designed and executed. I mean, there's no flaws on it, no glue stains, especially with the handmade sometimes, you, you're not sure what you're gonna get. I tried on a couple of different sizes. I put on the, the 10, it was too big. The nine and a half fit perfectly, but let's get into the actual detailing in the shoe. So you have, uh, it's just so nice. So this plush, plush, plush suede across the toe capping on the lateral side, we'll get into that first. Very soft, very buttery, as to be expected from Diodora. Not to be expected from extra butter, because sometimes I know people always complain about their, uh, their quality on their collabs, but as of late, like they've been killing it. Uh, the Stan Smith that they did super dope, um, uh, the wonder kind that they did soup well that was the wonder kind um the chief diver that they did was super like all the stuff that they've been coming out with as of late has been really really on point with the quality I, I i will say that anyway so you got your purple suede on the uh the toe capping stretching into the mid portion of the lateral side you have a red bright blood red uh suede across the mid paneling leather in that peach ish colorway on the Diodora logo, purple, deep purple that matches the toe capping underneath the Diodora logo and a light purple on the grommet section of the lace. All this is very, very, very buttery. It's, the, the quality is impeccable, fantastic. I, I'm, I'm just amazed that not a lot of people came out. I don't know how the online did, but we'll get into that. Uh, leather heel cap on the lower portion in the, uh, the black leather, which is supposed to symbolize, I, I believe the black leather gloves like most you know killers would use or have on their hands. Uh, if you watch any of the trailers, you can see that the guy's wearing black leather gloves and going for the girl's neck or carrying the knife. So that's a nice little hit there. Upper portion of the heel counter, you have that red suede again with an orange hit of leather on the upper heel tab. Even though there's no pull tab, it's just a heel tab. Uh, wrapping around into the medial side of the shoe, fantastic. Mirrored from the lateral side, so I really don't have to get into too much detail. You got your leather, you got your suede, you got your purple suede. Uh, hard plastic purple grommet in the upper area for the lacing. And uh, like I said, it's mirrored. Midsole, you have this purple, deepish purple with the red accent in the mid portion. Another hit of purple and the rest is white. Wrapping around from the heel counter, purple on the upper, white on the lower. Uh, again, Diodora. Uh, debossed in um, it's like a hard oh, it's the midsole so it's gonna be hard anyway but it, it's still pretty goddamn comfortable that's one thing I will say about Diodora they're always very very comfortable once again you need the red accent underneath the purple light purple again like I said mirrored on both sides basically on everything and then you got that hit of red in the upper portion of the outsole outsole is black with the red Diodora logo underneath 
if you missed all of that. So I've been talking to myself just a little bit too much, but I really like this shoe. Into the tongue and the laces. Uh, the tongue, the lower portion is like that orange colorway with the suede, and the upper portion is red leather with the Diodora logo, as always. Inside on your footbed, you got extra butter times Diodora N9000, just like the box. Very well executed. I believe it is a material, not leather, which is nice, but the inside of the shoe is leather just to give you a heads up. That's another reason why I kept the smaller size because the break on the leather, especially on the in portion or the inside portion of the shoe, it's always a lot thinner too, just a heads up. So if, you're, if you've bought like Diodora before and like, oh, you know, I wear a size up, um, that's because usually when they do the material or the nylon, the nylon is on both sides. So it takes up more room, just a heads up. Plus I, I was wearing heavy socks. Anyway, uh, toe capping, you got this Peachish red, I, I guess it's like more like a peach pink uh, leather perf, which is really, really soft and buttery. Uh, I'm excited to see what it looks like because you guys know I usually don't like leather toe boxes. So it's very weird that I even picked this shoe up, but I, I think overall, if I had to give it a number out of 100, I'd definitely give it a 99. I mean, the only thing that I don't like is the leather. And since I've tried it on, I don't even see any creasing on it. So. I, I am very pleased to see that as well. So I, I, it's super dope. So forget that braiding system, just go with super dope. Um, the other shoe is the same thing on the footbed and you got a little hang tag that came with it as well, which is like the dead body outline on both sides. Pretty clean, super dope. Um, is that extra butter is stitched into the back of the shoe, very clean, just like their branding. Um, I think I'm gonna do some force field stuff with these bad boys, just to give you a hit of what it looks like. Um, and uh, I'm gonna get out of here. Overall, listen, if they're still sitting online, I'm gonna put this review out the day of the release just because I, I hope that people, you know, change their minds if they, if they were thinking about it or if they're on the fence about it. This is a very, very, very good shoe. And I'm not just saying that because I fuck with the dudes of butter. I say it because I fuck with this shoe. Like, it's very dope. Um, anyway, I had a great time camping out. And like I said, the footage should have been up or it might be up after this. Well, whatever, we'll figure it out. And uh, I got some on-feed pictures and uh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. Hope you guys liked the review and uh, peace. Don't forget my thumbs up and subscribe.